Welcome back everyone. Here's another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Um, I want to kind of give you an update here on my DIY power wall. And what I've done here is I'm just kind of place fitting everything. Uh, but I want to show you what I've done. What I'm going to have is I have seven packs of 40p cells hooked in um, series here. That will give me a nominal voltage of about 25 volts. And the way I'm mounting these is I've got these hooks uh, that we've 3D printed and I have them on, mounted on DIN rails. Uh, I'm going to wait and see how much uh, they're able to support. I've noticed the longer they've been on there, they are starting to get a little loose. Uh, it's not holding too tight. Um, but uh, when we did design them, we did put them with the screw holes. So you can screw them into the board. I'll show you an example here in a minute of how they work. Right now, like I said, I got it on the DIN rails. Uh, just put a couple of breaker switches here and then my uh, solar charge controller. Um, but yeah, this is my uh, pack here that I'm gonna run. I've got a couple in there. I'm trying to level out the balancing, uh, get them all the same level on the packs and then start it back up with the solar. I am going to add a battery management system. I'm working on that now. I'm going to do the DIY BMS. So as I get that uh, working up, I will do a short video on that as well. Um, but I had a couple people ask about the mounting. And I got one mounted up here that we printed earlier. And this one is mounted so you can kind of get an idea of, of how it mounts and what it looks like. Um, we did design the top where it is adjustable, so you can get the, the right fit on there. Um, we are going to probably design a little bit here, uh, a lip, because the pack does wiggle back and forth. Um, it will not come out, um, and if it does, you can see it, it clicks, and so that's about as far as it's going to go um, if it does slip but I did think about adding this back here just as a stop so it doesn't rock if you have much movement um, but this is basically how it works um, and all you do is just lift up on the tabs and it pivots right out and that's how it goes and it fits nice little tray there and it'll rest here and on the back and it just goes back in and takes almost two hands and it's back in there so anyway um, I am going to put these on the Thingiverse I'll put a link in the description below uh, if you want to download these and print a set off for yourself um, right now we just got them designed for a four wide pack um, we think we might try a six as well um, but the nice thing about this is if you're just doing you know a 4x4 four four, you can do a custom size because you can mount it any height you need if you have you know a 4x80 it would accommodate it um, pretty strong I don't see it being an issue even with some heat on it um, but anyway I will link the the files the STL files if you want to print these and anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video here on my uh, power wall. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back with you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. Thanks and have a great day.